Hi there, I'm Natalie, and I spent most of my life being a total people pleaser, over committing, feeling guilty about saying no, and I did all this until I completely burnt out and just had nothing left to give. So I know a thing or two about over committing, and I promise you that by the end of this video, you're gonna have some really tangible tools that you can use to stop over committing and to set better boundaries. That's my promise to you. Before we dive in, if you like videos like this, which is all about fueling your energy, helping you live with more joy and struggle less, please subscribe to my channel. And I always wanna hear what your questions are, what your reactions are, so please share in the comments. Hello, awesome humans. And it takes courage to say that your brain is not your master. All right. Let's dive into how to stop over committing. And the first thing that I want you to recognize is this. You are a human being, not a machine. You don't have unlimited energy. Each one of us starts the day with a limited amount. This is my illustration for you. This is your energy reservoir every day. And you start every day with a limited amount of emotional, mental, and physical energy. And everything you do, even listening to me right now, takes some of your energy. So you have to become really intentional about where you spend your energy or you're going to run out. And here's a question I want you to start asking. Whenever someone's asking you to do something or you, your brain is telling you, you gotta do this and you gotta do this and you can't say no, I want you to ask this question. Can I energetically afford this? You know when you wanna buy something, right? Like a new bag or a pair of jeans, you ask yourself, can I financially afford this, right? Can I afford this? I want you to start making your energy part of your decision-making process when you're committing to something, whether it's at work or outside of work, ask yourself, can I energetically afford this? And just starting to ask that question is really, really powerful. I can tell you for most of my life and my career before I burnt out, I never thought about my energy or running out and just learning to ask that question really helps me to not overcommit so much. The second thing, and this is probably the most powerful practice that I can teach you, it helps me, I practice it all the time, um, I call it a yes-no trade-off. Here's the deal, I don't want you to think about boundaries, setting boundaries, as saying no, because then we feel guilty and our brain jumps in and tells us we should feel bad and people won't like us if we said no, like I get it, I've been there. So instead of thinking of boundaries as saying no to something, I want you to think of boundaries as a way to say yes to things that are really important to you, to things that are most meaningful to you, to things that bring you joy. And this practice, I call it a yes-no trade-off. I actually write about it in my upcoming book, which I'm so excited to share with you. It comes out on February 8th. It's called The Awesome Human Project. And the subtitle is Break Free from Daily Burnout, Struggle Less and Thrive More in Work and Life. I'm so, so excited to share it with you. So this practice is actually in the book and here's how to do it. So let's say maybe a friend is asking you to go out and you're feeling kind of like, oh, I'm kind of tired or someone's asking you to do something or no one's asking you, you're just yourself, this overachiever and you're like, I gotta do this and I gotta do this and how can I say no to this? I want you to think about it this way. What do you need to say no to so that you can say yes to what is most important to you. How do you need to preserve and protect your energy on some things? Yes, by saying no. Yes, by doing something less perfectly so that you have enough energy for what is most meaningful to you, getting that particular project done, showing up to your family as a fueled individual or whatever else. So that's the yes, no trade-off. So when you need to say no to something because you realize you cannot energetically afford it, don't think of it as saying no, think of it as what do I need to say no to so that I can say yes to what is really, really important to me. And that really, really helps. I have to tell you, even my brain that made me feel guilty for all of my life about if I say no to this person, they're not gonna like you, you're gonna feel so bad, it even helps my brain. So just keep practicing this yes, no trade-off. And the final thing, the third tip I have for you is to stop thinking that you can somehow get it all done. You know, we live in this culture kind of obsessed about hacking to inbox zero, getting to an empty to-do list. Well, guess what? If you are alive and up to stuff, there's always gonna be stuff on your to-do list. 
there's always gonna be stuff in your email and instead of having this goal to somehow get it all done, which is just so draining and stressful and this kind of pressure, think about what is the most important stuff that I need to get done. Actually look at your to-do list and instead of over committing and I can do this and I can be there and I can take care of this, ask yourself, what are the things that are really important for me to get done? And yes, that means that some of the stuff will leave and be undone. And that's okay, you're not a slacker, you're not a failure, you are a human being who's being mindful and intentional about how you spend your energy. And remember, everything you do takes energy. So by being more mindful and intentional about how you spend it, by practicing the yes, no trade-off and setting boundaries and choosing to say some things that you say no to so that you can say yes, so you have enough energy for the stuff that really matters and making your energy part of your decision-making process, right? To say, can I energetically afford this? Can I energetically commit to this? Those are really powerful ways that can help you stop over committing, stop constantly just trying to get stuff done and running around and feeling empty and actually make conscious, intentional choices of where to focus your energy and attention that serve you best. And when you are fueled with energy, you show up to work with energy, you get stuff done, you show up to people you love with more energy. And You show up as a better you, as a fueled you, which is what people really, really want from us. They don't want our perfection or saying yes to everything. What they want is us fueled and at our best. And so these are my tips for you for how to stop over committing and set better boundaries. I hope you find them helpful as always. I love hearing from you to so share your thoughts or questions in the comments. And if you like videos like this, I share them regularly on my channel. So please just hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. And I wish you an awesome rest of your day.